your boy Junior, aka King V. And your girl Amber. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the roommates. roommates. Today we have an Red, Red Brother. Brother. Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the good thing about it is that Red Robin on uh, April 1st, they started making impossible burgers. So roomies, go get your plates, grab your food, and come sit down and chill with us. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button. So you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Enjoy, Enjoy watching. watching. Now let's, let's eat. Let's eat. What's up, roomies? Been a long time. It's been a long time since me and Junior did a video together, but we're back. It's been a long time since we did a video, period. Yes. Yeah, but we back in here. Um... Red Robin just started um, selling the uh, Impossible Burgers. Amber. Uh, and Amber, I'm having is the, the Amber, new. Amber, you better stop talking about yourself in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And your girl Amber over here. Stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to saying your girl Amber. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm having the new limited time edition burger. It's called the El Rancheros from. Uh, for Red Robins, yum. yum, and I also got the chili cheese fries. That, that burger is like it got everything on it. I see bacon from all the way over here. Uh, let's show the camera this burger. Right. Now, the best one I had of these uh, Impossibles is uh, it was in down in Houston, Texas. I got yeah, some, I got some onion rings. They kind of they kind of soggy right now. I got a but, question about this burger. I think they get up. Uh, what? What about the they, burger? They might have forgot something on my burger. What's that? Look at this. It's Ain't nothing on there. Mm-mm. What are you supposed to have on there? I thought I was supposed to have more than this. This is the Al Ranchero. The Al Ranchero. What? What? What's going on? What, you, did you read what was supposed to be on the burger? Yeah. What was supposed to be on the burger? I don't know, but it was supposed to, I figured it was supposed to be more than this. I thought it was supposed to be like a... Like some fancy Mexican stuff on here because it's a Mexican named burger. Well, all my condiments came on the side. You want some? I, you know, it's pickles. I got extra pickles. You can get some pickles. Well, I'll get some of yours then. I don't know what this is. This mm -hmm. might be yo. This might be yours because I'm not eating that. That looks yeah. like that's dairy. I'm definitely. Oh yeah, that might be mine. Yeah, I'm definitely not eating that. We gotta put this together. Yeah, we're gonna have to build the burger, you guys. We want to speed it up through this part. See, Keisha had all the, um, all that, what do you call it? What do you call it? Condiments. And uh, the, the extra stuff on the burgers, Keisha had them put, put it, it to the side. So it wouldn't be soggy. We didn't see, know you that. see how she just went in on Red Robin? All her, all her goodness is right there. <laughs> I was going to be outraged if I didn't know this. Oh, I'll put it the same way because uh, I'm going to show y'all. Here, take this. Look, look. This is what my burger was just looking like. And this one, my burger was just looking like cheese and bacon. I was missing stuff, so I don't know what I don't, know what, I don't know what sauce that is. Let me sniff it. But I had. Uh, I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, is Mexican. They go on yeah, the burger. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I got avocados, pickles. Ooh. And I got I got lettuce, tomato, and then I got uh. Fried onions. That's sautéed onions. Yeah, sautéed onions. I thought it was fried onions. Give me a uh, paper towel. Jalapeno peppers, grilled onions. Well, sautéed onions. Let me get all this out of the way. Yeah. Let me clean up my mess. You want some ketchup? I got ketchup. Are we ready to build the burger? Yeah, we can build a burger now. Okay. After I built it, this is how it looked. 
ooh, that's gonna look good. Yeah. Now Amber's, look what Amber's turned out to be. Ooh, go ahead, pull your, uh, go ahead, pull your sauce on there. Right. Ooh, we. Dres with the sauce, you guys. Check that out. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be real good. A little bit on the side and on the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those chili cheese fries. Mm. I just got onion rings. Okay, let's dig into this first bite. show the camera how it's drizzling look at that you guys it's drizzling all over look look how pretty that is wait till you pick it up it's, it's gonna, gonna be a mess, mess. <laughs> amber's gonna make a mess but it's gonna be good but this one mine turned out to look like ooh it's just a plain old burger you know what that's what else, what, all, what all that you got right there i got what's the that original seasoning i don't want none of that ketchup. no i don't want none of that i'm gonna eat this just like this I'm gonna put my seasoning ketchup on my fries. Oh, show pick your burger up and show it to them. All right. No, pick it up by the thing. I gotta see this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me try. I hope I don't destroy it. Yeah, but that's the that's the object of the whole thing. Oh yeah! Look at that! Look at the El Ranchero. It's limited edition. It's thirteen ninety nine. So if you guys haven't tried it, go to Red Robin and try this out. I know it's gonna be good. Y'all gotta try it. Let me know what you think of it. Mm -hmm, look at that. That's a colossal burger. So come on, let's get this first bite out the All way. Right. Okay, let me see if I can hold this. You want me to count it down? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. go. Keisha made me, but I'm saying from a restaurant. I wasn't wrong. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It still don't come nowhere near close to the one that I had in Houston, Texas. But Burger King is bringing one soon too. Burger King will soon have the Impossible Burger. Mm hmm. I was just reading an um, article today from the Washington Post. The title of the article said that the Impossible Burgers has put the meat industry on notice. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try... Ooh. Sometime I want to try the Impossible Burger from uh, Burger King when it comes out. Oh, definitely. When I used to eat, when I used to eat, um, eat meat, um, the Whopper was one of my favorite. Oh yeah, that was my one of favorite. That frame broil taste, but I would like to see how that. Yeah. Cause it, it, it'll come close probably to the, how the one I tasted in Houston was. You guys, I'll never forget. Two years ago, when Junior first started going alkaline <laughs> vegan, and Keisha took me to Keisha and I, we went to Burger King. Okay, and I spent like $20 at Burger King that day. And I have bought the triple, I bought the triple Whopper. That Whopper, you guys, was about this tall. It was a big Whopper. And when Junior saw it, he was just shocked. He was like, really? You can eat all that meat? <laughs> you Really? He was just surprised because I really wanted to buy the triple Whopper. Because at the time... I was trying to do the alkaline diet, but I was doing it, but at the same time I was cheating. <laughs> and I was trying to sneak the burger in the house so he wouldn't see what it looked like. I had a $20 meal. I had a triple burger, large fries, then I had chicken fries with buffalo sauce. That's too much. And then I think I had, uh, what else did I have? I think I had um, the, the, cho the Hershey chocolate pie, and then I had a large drink. Good Lord. And that was before we discovered mukbang. Before we even knew yeah. about this. 
I, I wish I would just had been around when I was a real fat boy. I'm right. a fat boy, but. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, if you guys could see the way Junior used to eat chicken back in the day, mm -mm. he used to tear up them trays. We used to always uh, we would be in the line of Portillos. <laughs> I used to love the the jumbo style hot dog from Portillos oh, yeah. with the cheese cup. <laughs> This is definitely good, but I think I had, I had a salad one time from Bartello's, and uh, I, I forgot what it was. It was a Caesar salad, and then I had a, a grilled chicken sandwich. It was good. Mm. That grilled chicken sandwich, salad. I mean, grilled chicken salad is good. But you're not, not even eating. Now I do got one complaint about this meal. It's good. <laughs> but look at this, I feel bamboozled. They could, they could, come on. They could give me more fries, damn it. <laughs> I was expecting the fries. I was expecting to get a burger and then a big, a big thing of fries. I was expecting you to eat. This is a mukbang. Oh, I'm eating. You're really like you only took one bite off that burger. Now look at this, you guys. Look at how it looks after I took two bites. Ta-da! That's a big burger. It, ain't, it, ain't, it don't have nothing on that burger. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a thrash, this burger. I don't know what this white sauce is, but it's good. No. I ain't gonna be like everybody else this today when that Amber just um. <laughs> yeah, Junior gonna let me walk walk around with no food on my face. He said nice friend. <laughs> Anyone else they'd just be staring at my face. Laughing at me or just staring at me smiling. You know how the commercial say friends don't let friends drive drunk? Mm-hmm. Well friends don't let friends sit at the table and breakfast to itself either. This all being puppets, they weren't that hot. They're not hot to you because you're used to spicy stuff. I should have got a double. It was this meal went fast. I know. But it was a taste test though. I should have got a large order of fries. Mm -hmm. I probably should have got the voodoo fries because since I'm having a limited burger, I should have got fries I've never heard of in my life. Mm. Y'all see how fast I just cleaned that up? I was hungry, y'all. This burger is so good, I'm just savoring it. Yeah, but the video ain't gotta be an hour. Sitting. You ain't gotta rush through it. I'm a eight already. I didn't. I had a little thing of ramen noodles because Keisha was taking forever to get the meal. And I know I'm hungry. My stomach's growling. You know, sometimes you can just be thirsty. And your stomach is growling. You know, studies show that 75% uh, of the time, when people are hungry, 
They're really thirsty. They're really thirsty. Let me get a paper towel. I always thought when your stomach is making noises, that means that, that you're hungry. It really just means your body wants something. And we're so used to putting food in there. A lot of times, our body is really wanting hydration. No, after this meal, I'm feeling good. <laughs> You're going to sleep <laughs> after that meal. <laughs> no, I went to sleep after the KFC meal. Ooh, we. Yeah. No, that was a lot of chicken. <sighs> no, after this meal might have woke me up. I <laughs> said, <laughs> I think this meal might have woke me up. Yeah, I think it was strained a little bit. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect to see that burger going that fast. That was fast. <laughs> oh man, it was fast. That was a lot of burger. It was really a lot of topping. Yeah, it was more topping than it was meat. You should have got an Impossible Burger. Would have been healthy, healthier rather. Yeah, but that were. If I got an Impossible Burger, I would have had to get a triple because the single wouldn't have filled me up. You got chili and cheese. You got chili cheese on fries. That would have filled you up. You don't think it filled you up? No, because it's healthy. Just because it's healthy, it ain't gonna fill you up. I've eaten the vegan tacos with you guys, and I didn't get filled up. I also have like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. That's 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 a lot of eating. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it no more. My stomach ain't even the same no more after uh, doing 40, I did a 40 day fast. My stomach don't even, mm -mm. I just can't eat like that no more. And I used to put it away. I used to put it away big time. Eating whole pizzas. Did it surprise you the first time you saw me putting it away with the- uh, Amber, the first time when you came over and you ate, uh, Keisha made those, uh, what was that? The, um, the sliced turkey with the mashed potatoes, uh, fried corn, and Hawaiian bread. Put it away. Then the second time she came, she she smashed like five, four or five burritos. Big, loaded burritos. <clears throat> it surprised me that I could still eat like that even though I lost weight. Yeah, it surprised me because uh, how, how the difference in your size then and now and you can still eat like that. I can't do it. You know, I don't even really try to. I probably could if I tried, but I just don't. Once I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> look at look at y'all. I like to let nothing go to waste. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> So how was it? It was, it was absolutely delicious. So on a scale of one to ten, what you get a burger? No, matter of fact, a scale of one to five, what you get the burger? The burger. I give it a five because you, you give it a five a five over on? Good lord, that was yeah. a good burger, huh? Yeah, it was a good burger. What about the chili cheese fries? The Despite chili. the size, with it, how how was how was the taste? It was it was alright. It was okay. They, I think they were lacking a little bit on the cheese, but it was all right. I would give the cheese fries um, a three, three mm -hmm. and a half. The burger five, the, the, the chili cheese fries a three. Yeah. Well, for me, the Impossible Burger, it was a three. One out of five, it was a three. The onion rings, they were soggy. I, I, I buy the Red Robin uh, onion rings from the store all the time, so... Yep. Uh, and, all, and the burger. I can't even rate those because I already know what they taste like. Yes, and you like the one from Houston better. And that burger from Houston, I'm telling you right now, I haven't had a Impossible Burger that tastes better. No, that's because Houston is the king of the Texas. burgers. Texas, no, Texas. Yes, Texas is <laughs> Texas. the king of the burgers. And uh, I don't think I'm going to get another one that tastes like that until Burger King get, get involved. So... 
That's the taste test. And we enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you, Red Robin. Maybe, maybe some other. Maybe you can uh, enlarge your fries. <laughs> but other than that, it was good. We loved it. Yeah, the Impossible Burger. It was. A, it was good. They. Uh, Maybe it's because the way I put it together too, so I don't know. Maybe I should just let them do that <laughs> instead of putting it on the side. But no, I th- you did a good job because if, if you would let them put together, by the time Keisha got home, it would have been soggy. It would have been soggy everywhere, huh? Yeah, because uh, it took her like. Well, maybe I'm gonna bump it up to like a four because the patty was it was nice, even though I don't, I don't like the Impossible Burger to be you know the well no because that's the that's the Beyond Meat. I don't like that well cooked. I like for it to be still kind of pinkish. You like it juicy? Yeah, I like it. You know, like the way I used to eat the the red the real burgers. I used to I didn't cook it all the way. I used to like for it to be a little a little a little pink. Yeah, on the grill, right? Yeah, or even in the frying pan, like even in the kitchen. You know, I used to like it a little pink. Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a um, they uh, the one I had today. I'm gonna give it a like a four. I'm gonna give a two thumbs up in my burger. <laughs> oh, you still get a thumbs up because did no animal have to get hurt for that burger? <laughs> I can't and, say that about my burger. I'm sorry, animals. <laughs> and they say that it, it, it's, it's actually better for the environment to go vegan. Yeah, yeah, because they um, a lot of people don't know that a lot of the fresh land and fresh water supply is used towards um, the development of animals that they use for meat. A lot of people don't know that. And if you ever get a chance to check out the documentaries on Netflix, I think it's still on YouTube. It's called What the Health. Very good documentary. Yeah. About the way that animals are treated. That we We didn't get to watch the whole thing, but I know what we do get to watch it. I'm going to be thinking different about the meat. I might be scared to eat meat after watching them make slaughter. It ain't about it ain't really about the slaughtering. This is actually what's in the meat. What the hell? So roomies, thank you all for watching. Thank you for letting us into your home, your house, your workspace. And wherever it is you watch the roommates on your phone hanging out. But if we're in the bathroom, wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands. She don't wash her hands. Hey, don't say that. I always <laughs> wash my hands. He's always goofing on me about that. Don't lie to the roomies. It's not okay. fair to that them. That ain't the lie. I always wash my hands. <laughs> uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button. So you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, y'all. We love you. Don't Don't forget forget to to live, love, and laugh. Bye.